Hi, Emmanuel here with T2S, Transform to Succeed. Today, and in this video, I'll be talking about how you can resolve an error message when you use the yum update or yum install command on CentOS. And that can also apply to uh, Red Hat Enterprise. So I'm gonna show you this on the terminal so that you make sense of what I am talking about here. So let's uh, let's go to the terminal. I'm gonna open my terminal here quick. So we are here on the terminal. I'll change my I'll use this one here. Okay, so we, we're there. And let's say I want to update, update my CentOS 9 here. So I do this command. This is what you get when trying to update, you see? Try to update here and it's, it's giving me this message. The system is not registered with an entitled entitlement server. And that that's the same if you wanna install, let's say I wanna install an Apache server. And I'm gonna get the same, pretty much the same message. So how do I fix this situation? How do I fix this situation? And to, to fix it, what I need to do, I have to go and configure. So I have, I have, you have to configure. This is like a note. You have to configure the subscription. The subscription manager. The subscription manager conf file. This is the file that you have to configure. And where do we find this file? We find this file in this location. So we find it into the ET directory, in the yum directory under the ET directory. And, and you need to go to the plugin conf.d. This is where we find this file where we find the above file so it's gonna be in that place so i'm gonna control use the control c so to exit from that so what we need to go where well, we can either just uh configure this uh, we can configure this file by just using we can use uh, we can use Vim which is an editor uh, a text editor just like Nano and VI in Linux and then we go to this file here subscription dash manager dot conf so you can you can do that if you do uh actually you're gonna need to do sudo to become the super door so when you do this it's gonna give you this uh hold on something is wrong here I escape i'm gonna quit then get out of there so let's first let's find this file here so we're gonna go to the etsy on your ls what we need to go where we need to go next is is here the yum directory so we're gonna cd into yum directory and then if you ls we're gonna need to go into here the plugin com file 
uh, so we're gonna go and conf uh, directory that day so we're gonna go there do that and if you are less we're looking for this file here and then here you can sudo the vim vim the subscription then uh, that see so now we are on this file and because we're using vim so we're gonna i'm gonna put this uh, uh this into an insert mode by pressing i on my keyboard so i do that so now i can go and move my cursor so to configure this file you just change one to zero then press escape on your keyboard and then you're gonna do column and w to save q is an exclamation point to quit so you have done that and now we get out of that and i'm gonna clear my screen so you know what i just did here what i just did here is to just go you can vim that file so the command would be like this you don't need to go into use the, the, the exact steps that i use but what you need to do is to go to this file here uh, when I do cough or the, uh, manager when I do manager dot cough and so you have that command then I'm gonna just put escape shift and quit so that's that's the command that you you need to use here so vim is the editor editing tool on a Linux system vim or vi or nano and then you go to first to the et directory then you go to the yum directory then you go to the plugin conf.d directory that's where you find the file and when when you get to the file you only uh, change you you change uh enable dash enable equals one to enable equals zero and after doing that so now you should be able to update your centos system you should be able to like if you wanna uh install let's say i want to install make it's a it's a utility that you can also use on the next to compile uh, uh, uh packages and stuff so i do that you see so it's gonna it's gonna install you see so now i do yes and it's it's gonna go ahead and install make and that's what you see here and the installation is complete so that's how easy you can resolve the error message with yam update or yam install on centos and again my name is emmanuel Thank you so much for watching. God bless and I hope to see you in the next video.